and they went to prison when they were very young. Ricardo was the second youngest, the youngest one actually is Rosa. So I just want you to know that they spent a long time in prison um, with the same charge that Alviso Campos was given, seditious conspiracy. So I just wanna, obviously I think we should do this. Here. today yes. and who I never got to see ever again uh, after her death. So it's, uh, it's happy for me but also it's sad because I was never able to see my mother again and give her that last kiss and embrace her. But I know it's a sacrifice that we do. I'm not the only one who went to. Ocal never saw Mita, me, his mother, you know, never saw, never was able to touch his mother ever again, you know, and he, she only saw him through uh, a window. And so I know the agony that you know, Oscar must feel, you know. I know what Adolfo must feel, what he wasn't able to see his mother and, so, and be able to say goodbye. But, you know, even with all that, I am happy to say that, you know, I have a nation that backed me up. I have a people, a community that backed me up. And I am very grateful to that and to each and every one of you that have been here, that have uh, know that I've dedicated myself to this community since I was a long time in 1972, since I started. You know, but I have no regrets of what I did, and I have no reason to say I'm sorry because I represent a noble and just cause. And forever until I die, I will always be independentista and I always have a humanistic yeah. life. Yeah. So. Yeah. 